Hello. What's up, guys? Or is it emo? Yeah, I don't see... Is, uh... Are 17 emotes broken right now? Been having issues today. Dang. Oh, well. Is the seed I'm about to play rigged? Yes. It is rigged because I made the seed. I put in the number of the seed. So that means all I have to do is know the incredibly complex algorithm that that MM Randomizer uses and reverse engineer how that number affects the seed. And then I can know everything about it. Or I could literally just open up the spoiler log and no one would ever know. Just learn math, yeah. It's literally just math. Yeah, still no logic. I play Marth in melee. Although I don't really play melee. Thanks for the Blender Gamer. Uh, Mel Goody, was it the, um, the, the Plando spoiler log thing? I did that. If it was something else, uh, I didn't see it. Yukis, thanks for giving 10 subs. So was it Plando thing? Yeah, yeah, I'm using the Plando thing. I, I did. I also did it uh, the other day. It was pretty good. I, I think that solution worked. Although, I would still like it if it was like an actual setting in the randomizer itself instead of having to work around, but as a workaround, it, it works well. Thanks for a thousand bits, RBD. Thanks for being sub, comedy man. Uh, yes, I did turn off uh, Giants and FD everywhere. Uh, I should actually put that in the text. <laughs> Why FD? Because both of them are... Uh, they're fun and cool, but they're also... Trivializing. So, yeah. Like, they, they are very fun. I'll probably turn them on and off every now and then. Situationally. But I do want to, uh... I want to play it with more... Closer to vanilla mechanics. I also might turn off Sunsong. I, I still have Sunsong on for this rando. But I might turn that off soon also. Yeah, Sunsong, it is really interesting, but I it does also kind of feel like it's a bit of a routing crutch. You're on individual note rando? No. Actually, I don't even think MM rando has that. Uh, I don't think you can turn Sunsong into an item. If you could, I would be okay with- oh, bombed you. I, I always forget the, that, uh, you actually get a spoiler in the title screen. I think the reset we were pilot. I mean, it wouldn't matter if it's a spoiler, because that's the stray fairy, and that's literally the second check I do anyway. So, I mean, I could theoretically use that to skip my 
initial laundry pool check? I'm not going to, but I guess I could. Next level cheating, yeah. Am I secretly announcing Majora's Mask 2 via all these anorandos? Yes, Majora's Mask 2 is coming out this year. Okay, let me start a Gamba. Go Gamba, and then when Gamba's over, I will start. Yeah, only half the Skulltal houses are random. As in, like, half the Skulltal is in each house. It's so that uh, the Skulltal houses aren't so overwhelmingly powerful with having... 30 checks in them. <laughs> uh, okay, you know what? Because I have FD turned off, FD anywhere turned off, I think FD should not count as a transformation mask. So, yeah, for, for this Gamba, do not count FD as transformation mask this time. Yeah, 15 checks is still a lot. I, I am thinking maybe I should make it 10 instead. Um, I mean, so far, I don't think it's been too broken. Yeah, and bomb shoes do not count for explosives, but blast mask does. I think that'll be sub freak. Gotta learn any equip FD chicks. Uh, I know the old, um, Zora in shallow water one. Uh, I was going to learn more, and then I didn't get around to it. That'll probably be, like, one of the next things I learn. Choose don't choose don't count uh, because they don't actually give me explosives without a bomb bag. So that that's why I have it listed as explosives, as in something that will actually explode. As in, if I get choose without a bomb bag, there will be no no booms. Does powder cake count? Uh. Should powder keg count? I, because technically I could use powder keg with uh, the restricted items trick. Although I don't really know any setups for it. Yeah, I guess I guess powder keg counts. Yeah, it does. It does boom, and even without Goron mass, I could theoretically use it with unrestricted items. Yeah, blast mass does count. Giant's Mask does not count as explosive due to its damage properties, no. Thanks for membership, Owen Maz. Oh yeah, I gotta add more uh, emotes on YouTube, because I unlocked more. I still have to throw in a bunch of those. Update a bunch of the emote lists. Oh wait, did, are they already? Oh, maybe Dry did it for me already. <laughs> he did. Okay, cool. Never mind. Thanks for doing your job and letting me be lazy. Yeah, FT Anywhere, FT Anywhere is fun, but again, it is also a bit trivializing. I mean, I'll see how I feel about it. I could turn it back on. I could be convinced to turn FT Anywhere back on. But at the same time, FT Anywhere being off doesn't mean that I can never use FT Anywhere. Like, there are glitches to use it. So, it might just mean, like, if I want to use it anywhere, I'm going to have to commit to doing a glitch to do it, which might be more interesting long run. I did not turn on uh, sticks and nuts in grass. Uh, I was thinking about it, but the more I thought about it, I thought I think I'd just prefer vanilla mechanics. I generally prefer 
keeping vanilla mechanics. I know that sounds weird when I have stuff like Sunsong and I was doing Giant's Mask and FD Anywhere and stuff. But I think for that, I, like Sticks and Nuts, they're not a huge commitment to go out of the way for, but they are like a minor commitment to go out of the way for, and I, I think I like that, actually. Index Warp is a vanilla mechanic? Yes, Index Warp is a vanilla mechanic. It works exactly the same in vanilla as it does in Rando. Yeah, Giant's Mask was just super OP. Yeah, I I am considering doing uh, all the freestanding rupees soon. It actually does seem pretty interesting in this game. I, I don't like it in OOT that much, because the freestanding rupees in OOT are just, you know, they're just there, but in MM there's like all these interesting secret rupees that I actually do want to try out probably soon. Yeah, all the all the secret hit spots are interesting. Yeah, so now FD is only in boss rooms. There it, there are glitches to use FD outside of boss rooms. So now if I want to use that FD outside of a boss room, I have to actually commit to doing a glitch to, for it instead of just putting it on. Yeah, there's a song during the the Crimea ride before before uh, you get attacked. Uh, they're not hard glitch. I mean, I only know like one old method. I have to learn updated methods. Uh, but they're not hard. I don't think so. But they are like they are situational. Explain how water removed the sunblock and stone tower. It's just that's just the vanilla mechanic. There just is. For some reason, spring water just has light arrow properties. Uh, don't know if it's intentional as an easter egg or a glitch, but that's how spring water is programmed. It is a completely vanilla mechanic. Yeah, same thing, uh, blue fire destroys certain mud walls in OOT. Uh, I don't think it would kill a bubble and give you 50 rupees, or I don't know, maybe it would, I'm not sure. Maybe I have to test that. But uh, I mean, it, it has certain properties of lighters, maybe not every property of lighters. But yeah, it's interesting. Okay, I gotta mark my starting songs. Okay, let's start. Just the token. Uh, great fairy sword. Keaton Master's great fairy sword. Okay, this was the spoiler item I saw in the intro. Membership Astro 3. Have I ever speedrun MM? Yes, long, long time ago, I used to speedrun MM. I even had world records back in my day. Oh, Bosky, Woodfall Bosky. Back in my day, I used to be good at this game. Now I'm all washed up.
Come on. Okay, Dega Playground day three is Swamp Skull. Come on. Dude. Bunny Hood, nice. Yeah, comparing what's harder to speedrun between OG and MM is not, there's no real comparison. It's, both are hard in their own way. There's no, it kinda, isn't that the same one as last time? It kinda gave fairy couples mass. Or maybe it was a different fairy. But yeah, I wouldn't say either one is harder than the other. Both of them require a lot of knowledge and uh, woodfall. Okay, Twin Mold is boss of woodfall. Both of them require a lot of things to learn. Yeah, the maps and comp or yeah, maps and compasses and boss keys are all kept in Song of Time. Okay, Dormani holds Swamp Skull also. Uh, Dampe, okay, Dampe's junk. Baby's Aura is a sword upgrade. Okay, uh, Dampe. There's three swords in MM. There's a uh, hero sword, razor sword, gilded sword, and then also great fairy sword, but that's a separate item. Okay, frog choir is at least junk. Ocean skull. Ocean Great Fairy's pendant. I'm really hoping neither of those are important. Uh, or wait, pendant is is pendant the one that gives me Keaton? No, no, it's not. It's uh. Pendant is what gets me full engine cafe quest. Now remember, choose, do not count as explosives, because I don't have a bomb bag. Update tracker, oh yeah. Uh, wait. Did I need to check off anything besides bunny hood and sticks? What was on Postman's head? Uh, no dude, I just saw Postman. Postman has FD.
Well, I did just turn FD Anywhere off. Okay, uh, there's a lot of good- oh, Magic Seer and Land Title Deed. Uh, it's not worth. Okay, Magic is only 10, Title Deed's 10. Okay, cool. What's your reward? Uh, heart piece. Uh, level by intro. Forty rupees. Okay, so I want sixty by the next time I'm in West Clocktown. Oh uh, yeah, there is a point to slowing down time in Rando, but I don't want to do that at the beginning because I actually want a certain amount of time to pass so I can get a few checks that require require being later. So I intentionally don't uh, invert for a while. Oh, okay, that was Twin Islands. Luckily I saw that. Uh, yeah. I'm not supposed to mash through that text that quickly, but luckily I still saw it. Uh, what's in the tree? That it's Keaton mask. Uh, I guess I can get a Keaton right now. You can do Keaton just from picking up the grass, right? Two, right? It's two, right? Two? How many cuckoos are in in the ranch? Two? One? Is it one or two? It's one? Okay. Uh, cool. I got great spin and I can't use it. Might actually be early to uh what's it called? Uh room key. Yeah, I'm early to- er, no, I can still do it now. Uh, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Power move, yeah. So both magics were super easy to get right here in uh, Clocktown. I guess that means I can skip 
I might as well just skip the uh, second magic for now. I like not go out of my way for it, and I'll just get land title deed. And I can probably use this for um, toilet hand. Dude. I mean, next time I'm in this area with rupees, I'll get it. I just don't need to go out of my way for it right now. Alright, Mark Keaton. And Mark Magic. I don't need to cheat. Dude. I don't have rupees. Yeah, maybe if I cheated, I would have got it. Okay, Snowhead is Great Bay Temple. Oh, I forgot to check something. Or not check, but uh, get a hint. The guy down here gives me uh, Oceanside Day 1 hint. Bottle of gold dust. Uh, another next OT MM rando is I think this is probably gonna be the last MM rando before the next OT rando or OT MM rando I do. But probably probably next rando I do will be OT MM. Actually, why'd I even do that if I knew what the item is? Well, I guess I don't know. I don't know the hint for Snowhead Fairies yet. Goron Race has Chateau. Uh, that's not not a bottle, so that's just a chateau refill. I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean I won't do go on race. 
Depends on circumstances. I'm not sure if I should invert or not. Uh, I want to wrap this so I can save Grandma, but I don't have a sword, so it's not even looking like I, I'll be able to do that. I could invert soon. I think I'll invert it a little bit, or I'll just invert it right now. Thanks, Larissa. I've deciphered the clues. Defeat the plants with more plants, yeah. As grass is weak to grass, don't you all know? I'm gonna get the rupees here first before I go in the grotto. Huh? Did it only drop one? I swear I saw two. I saw two shadows, right? The other one just disappeared. Uh, a blue rupee for 10 rupees, no. No, especially not for 50. Yeah, he definitely should drop two. I'm gonna try one more time. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> the second rupee just disappeared. Guy's a good negotiator, yeah. Raising the price while haggling. Fisherman Game is a Pona song? Oh my god. A lot of the annoying checks are moderately useful in the seed. Born race. Okay, I already knew that. Oh, come on. Alright, this is basically my last chance for a sword to uh, save Grandma. Yeah, I got spin attack and no sword. Bucks. And even magic. Oh, red potion bottle, that's good. That's kind of awkward because... I guess I should just go to swamp right away with that. Because I want to use the bottle for other things, but... I guess that's a good excuse to just go straight to swamp. Okay, yeah, so I have nothing to save Grandma with. Grandma will get robbed. No, a stick doesn't work. Uh, can I get into Stockpot Inn? I don't know if I can make it without anything. Uh... This one up, right? Oh, without Zora bombs. Dang. I wanted to go get Toilet Hand. Uh. Yeah. Oh well. Okay, I guess I go to Swamp. Or, okay, wait, can I. I have no way to do a Hidden Owl, right? 
Yeah, no explosives, no first person item. Yep, I gotta just go. Yep, I'm just gonna let Gam Grandma get robbed. Nothing I can do. I can't stop the robber. Did I check what was in the tree? I did, right? I I feel like I looked and I couldn't see. I hate checking this tree. It's so bad on N64. Oh yeah, it was a skull token, right? Never mind. Oh, right. Uh, compass. I'll just check what the guy's selling. Ten decanets. Andrew and Cafe have Snowhead Boss Key. Oh my god. Okay, so I got a hint that Pendant was uh, one of the great fairies. Uh, yeah. Great Bay, Stray Fairies. So. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, this seed's cursed. I mean, again, I only need three out of four dungeons, so maybe I just don't beat Snowhead. But man. Yeah, I'm doing no BK skips. Ask a sense. That would almost be good if she actually. Oh, bomb bag. If only her first item was good. Okay, if I just get a first person item, I can at least set up uh, index warp. Well, a shield or a first person item. And if I don't, then it's gonna be awkward. I might wanna go to day two. Or I have, uh, I want to go to day two right now. I think I should, just so I can get the grotto. Wait, what did she just give me? I wasn't paying attention. It wasn't a good item, right? Oh, right, it's, it's the tourist center thing. <laughs> Might as well actually go in the boat. No, I actually want to get lost. I think it's five dollars, a low emporium. Put on my stream when you want to take a nap. Nice. Mm. 
No. No, Von Hair doesn't affect swimming speed. I right, mark bombs. Anything else I missed to mark? Is this Mega Man 2? Is Mega Man 2 Wily on the boat? Like, very quiet. Oh, yeah, Mask of Sense. No, Mashing B does not affect swim speed in MM. It's a bad habit I have. I still, I still mash B in in the water when I when it doesn't make a difference. Oh yeah, and Mark Bean. Already have rupees. I was almost able to run through the whole thing. Sixty rupees. What a ripoff. Uh, no, I don't think you can get caught while you fall in the hole. Things reset, Patrician. Things reset, by Icy Feather. What are the odds of a song for a dungeon that's in the dungeon with this? Uh, so there's roughly 20 items uh, per dungeon, plus or minus a few. And I think I have like 350-ish checks on, so... Uh, 20 over 350 is the odds. Well, I guess twice that because of Woodfall and Great Bay. But there's also a situation where you could theoretically wrong warp to Woodfall if Woodfall is... If, if Woodfall is randomized to be Great Bay Entrance, you could theoretically wrong warp into Woodfall without Nube Bossa Nova. What am I doing? Just peek the item. But yeah, I guess just just think of it as like 20, 20 over 350 or 40 over 350 or I don't know, one of those. Something like that. You do the math, not me. Uh, can I get over to the... I'm not sure. Okay, I'm probably gonna die doing this, but I'm gonna try. Yeah. I wasn't sure if I was able to get over to the swamp spider house like this. Okay, I think I just have to take the boat. If only I could just jump off. Why does it not let me just jump off the boat? Uh, emotes are just broken today, or specifically the 7TV e emotes are just broken. I think 7TV itself is just broken right now.
Okay, what can I do with bombs, but no... I have bombs, but no shield. Uh... What can I do with this? You know what, I'm actually gonna catch some spring water real quick. This might come in handy. Because I have another bean. Yeah, I did observatory. Oh, I didn't do the, bo the bomb chest in the observatory tunnel. I didn't have bombs at the time. So I guess I should do that. And then I probably want to do... Uh... I want to go buy Lullaby intro. I could make it... Uh, night three. Oh yeah, I can do couples. I can do uh, Honey and Darling now. Uh, can I check the Bio Baba Grotto with bombs? I think I can. And no, I can't do uh, Index Warp right now. For Hidden Owl, I need either a first person item or a shield. Oh my god, please. Please? Did that hit it? Does this not work? Uh... Okay, I guess it doesn't hit it. I'll probably... Um, okay, no. I was gonna say... I was gonna die, but I guess not. Uh, Libra will probably kill me? Actually, I probably don't want to die, because it'll put me back at the... entrance to Swamp. One. Dude. I don't have any songs yet, right? Oh, I already got it this cycle, I forgot. Uh, you know what? I guess I do want to buy that. Uh, well, I guess I don't need to buy it right now, but that uh, stray fairy is one of the ones that gives pendant, so I might actually want to get that. And then I'll, I guess I'll grab the other magic. Dude, why does he not? Why does he yell at me for having bunny hood on? No, no BK skips. If I do three out of four bosses, uh, I'm gonna say no BK skips. If I do all four bosses, I think I'll probably allow BK skips. Stray fairies do not reset. Uh, please be less than 27 rupees. One rupees. Maybe I shouldn't have had bunny hood on. I'm totally gonna run off with bunny hood. Okay. One game is 28 rupees, yeah. I was definitely ready for that. Uh, 
Uh, I might want to make it night too, and then get the upper chest up here, or and, or not upper chest, but uh. Toilet hand. Or wait. Yeah. I want to do toilet hand, but I also. Uh. Yeah, bomber hideout chest, I need to do that. Um. Okay, here, why don't I uninvert and I'll go get bomb, bomber hideout chest and come back out and get toilet hand. Wait, no, because I need it. I'll just do this right now. Because I need to be able to actually enter Stockpot in. I guess I shouldn't leave it uninverted then. Indecisive. It's... this is... this can be hard to route. There's a lot of... It's hard to route do things fast versus time-based things. Uh, Sunsong speeds up time until the next day or night transition. It's uh, not normally in the game, but or it's it's unobtainable in the game. You can't normally get it, but it, it still exists in the game data and Rando just makes it an actual item. Okay, what else do I need to do? Uh, should I just go to day three? I think I should just go to day three. I think... I think you can jump to the South Clocktown Tower with a bomb jump on day two, right? I think I want to jump up there, make it day three while I'm on there so I can get the chest. Yeah, not a lot of good items so far. Uh, can this make it? I don't know if this can make it. It doesn't look like it. Nice. up on that. Uh, what else do I do? I don't know what else I can do. I think I just have to do like night three stuff. Uh... On the postman, postman had FD mask. Post pan is the fierce deity.
Wait, why did it make it midnight? I don't think I needed to do that. Oh well. Uh, no, you cannot hit Tingle's Balloon with a stick. Uh, I don't think you can... Tingle's Balloon doesn't pop with a bomb either, right? Yeah, I don't think I can hit Tingle with anything I have right now. Um... I can go do... I think there's only one more check I can do this cycle, and it's, uh... Romani Ranch Chest in the Dog Race. Yeah, so having... Not having access to Index Warp yet and not having a shield yet is not great. Uh, title deed? Uh, I, I gave it to Toilet Hand. Yeah, I already did Toilet Hand. I did it on uh, night two. Yeah, I got, I got the tree stump chest. Oh, I didn't check Curiosity Shop. Oh, I should have done that. Um, am I going to have to run all the way back to Clock Town to check that? I am. Should have checked that before I left. What? <laughs> I ran all the way here. Why is it closed if no one's there? Check the hints. Fall straight cherry gives. St <laughs> okay, so Stone Tower Stray Fairy is couples mask. <laughs> so if hypothetically, if couples mask is something important, I will need all Woodfall Stray Fairies in order to get all Ikana Stray Fairies. Yeah, this seed could be insanely evil. Could be. It, it could all be uninterested. It could. Couples Mask could be 20 rupees. And I could get all the other three boss keys way before st uh, Stone Tower boss key. Maybe other. Like, I already got one boss key. So. Because I know. Or no, it's Stone. Snowhead boss key. So, again, I know that. Um, Andrew and Cafe is. Snowhead boss key. And I know that uh, Pendant of Memories is all Great Bay Fairies. So, I mean, if, you know, if I need that, that specific boss key, then that could be rough. Uh, do it every time. Uh, I kind of want that. Uh, 40 rupees. I can get that. I mean, I'm gonna save Grandma eventually. I'll just get it when I save Grandma. Um, deposit seven rupees. Is there anything else I need? Uh, I think I am done with the cycle. Yeah, definitely running out of options. I don't have a lot to do. I think I might need to do the uh, Snowhead Seamwalk.
Actually, can you mega flip through that ice? I think that might be easier if I can manage to mega flip through it. Although, in order to do that, I need to actually farm grass. This is going to be annoying. You actually don't need a shield to mega flip in this game, which is neat. Please give me bombs. I also need to farm more sticks. What was this item again? Was it just like rupees? Okay. I was thinking if it was rupees, maybe it would at least be somewhat helpful. Honest work here on the stick farm. The hard work. And choose. That's something. Although right now, bombs are more important. Oh, I could do some- I guess I should do Honey and Darling, because I'm not sure. So I only did one day, uh, last cycle. I... Don't know- I don't know what all three days is yet, so I probably should at least try- At least start setting up for doing all three days. without a shield. How do you drop explosives without a shield? It's so bad. Dude. Okay. Please. 
Okay, I'm gonna try to mega flip through the ice. Hopefully this works. If not, I'm gonna have to learn the seam walk on the fly. And I remember the seam walk being not great. I made it? Nice. Okay, that was first try. That wasn't hard at all. Oh wait, uh hint. How's the seed so far? Not great. Uh, not a lot to work with early on. And I also have gotten several hints that indicate uh, not great items are, or not great checks are important items. Yeah, and then somehow I found both magics already. Uh, I can't make it up here. Hess doesn't make it up there. Needs to be a super slide. Uh, and I can't check this either. Or, I mean, I think theoretically I might be able to do that with a Mega Flip. I don't know how I actually set that up. Is that a Swamp Skull Spirit, I think, over there? Yeah. I hope if anything good is in here, it's cheap. Another bomb bag. Uh, sure. Okay, also a great fairy, or a Stray Fairy for Great Bay here. Okay, we'll have to remember that. Because, uh... I might need to come back for that later. Uh, I might as well talk to the baby. I forget. So, for doing the check... For doing the Goron Elder check, I know you have to talk to the baby. Does it still work if you talk to the baby as human and then talk to uh, the Goron Elder as Goron? Yes? Okay, so so that'll count. Like, if I get if I get Goron Mask later, that'll count as talking to the baby. Yeah, I guess the baby's mute today. God, I also want this. Yeah, the fairies themselves still give me the locations of all the stray fairies, so I could still use that. Uh, this might be hard with Bunny Hood. Or not. <laughs> okay, yeah. I overshot the last platform. Thanks, Reserve the Akuma. Come on. Sonata. Uh.
Okay, so now, uh, what do I do now? I need to, where am I going? How do I do this backwards? It's like, uh, it's this way. Yeah. I should probably invert. Um, okay, I think the only good thing I can do right now is attempt to go up Snowhead Path. Which is not going to be good. I'm, I'm going to have to do the Jump Slashes method, which sucks. Spider house? Uh... Actually, yeah, I think now I have enough health to do the spider houses. I can probably go through enough of the poison water. Yeah, I got a fairy and then I should be able to go through it. I'll have to kill the big octos with the boat, though. Which means I have to go get Red Potion again, but at least I know where it is. It's the Dongo Grotto, which I should actually write down. Okay, this is going to be annoying. hate that. Might be easier if I long jump first. <sighs> I hate this trick. I am not doing hidden owl because I cannot do a hidden owl yet. I do not have the necessary equipment to do hidden owl. Dude. Quick swap the sticks under another C button for easier mashing. Uh. I think the method I do right now should be good enough. I, because I like, <laughs> I mash the same button with two fingers. Can I even equip swap it? I guess I could. Let me, let me try. Uh, I don't know if this is going to help too much, but I'll try it. But then that happens. <laughs> uh... Okay... So I'm going to have to go back down the mountain. This is not... A great start. Yeah, I, I like how I have two bomb bags and double magic, and this is a bad start. Dude. 
Yeah, it might be best to just song a time. If I die, I'll just song a time. Oh my god. But then my explosives... How did I get this first try last time? Yeah, GameCube controller. Maybe with a different angle. Okay, I'm just gonna give this one more try in song of time. Uh, did that make it? I made it. How many GameCube controllers have I worn out in my life? Not many. GameCube controllers usually last me like three to four years. So, uh, I don't exactly run through them very often. Okay, I need to go pick up sticks. Uh, nearest scroll is probably over here. How many have I broken with rage throws? As far as I can remember, zero. Yeah, OOT and MM speedruns don't quite wear out a controller like, like melee players do. want to get four. Okay, so this is going to be annoying because I need to... So I want to go to the spider skull to the house, or uh, swamp skull to the house. And to do that, I need to swim through the poison water. In order to do that, I need to get rid of the big octos. And the only way I have of getting rid of the big octos right now is the boat game. So I have to go back in here. I have to kill the dongos again to get red potion again. So I can save, uh, save the witch again. And this will let me do uh, the bump spider house. Dropping the Hess. Quit dropping the Hess, dude.
Yeah, Hess and Megaflip don't need a shield in MM. You do still need a shield to hover, though. I'm actually going to grab two more sticks in here. Uh, for the input display, I can't use my old input display because it's for uh, VC specifically. Uh, I do have an old N64 input display lying around somewhere that I could go try to look for and find, but I'm lazy. But yeah, I, I have to use a different input display. Uh, so for, e for ESS adapter, first of all, you only need ESS adapter if playing on VC. I'm on N64, so it wouldn't matter. Uh, but yeah, you do need different ESS settings between both games. Uh, but the adapter I have just has settings you can change on the fly. So I can switch between them if I want. If playing on VC again. No need for it on N64. Uh, you don't need it for N64 because the ESS, uh, the difference in uh, control stick dead zone is uh, version based, not controller based. So playing with with a GameCube controller on the N64 version, the stick sensitivity is still going to be the same as if you were using a N64 controller. It's just that the VC version itself has significantly increased sensitivity. So same way if you do the reverse, like playing with an N64 controller on uh, on the Wii VC version, you're get, still going to have a really bad stick dead zone. No, I need to catch the fairy. It's actually going to be hard with uh, rolling into the grass to to cut it. Dude. Let's get it afterwards. I have to do a full trip around, I think. Yeah, I guess maybe I should just blow up the grass. Oh yeah, Mark Sonata. Uh, I can't mark Goron Lullaby because, oops, no. Uh, Goron Lullaby, it was only Goron Lullaby intro and this tracker doesn't have intro alone.
Okay, now I should be able to make it to... Um, what's it called? Uh, Swamp Spider House. Am I gonna make it? Is 10 hearts enough? Please tell me this is gonna make it. Things reset, wave time. Okay, yeah, I'll make it. I think. Come on, climb, climb. Why are you not climbing? Why are you not climbing? Okay. Made it. No problem. Really? It must have gotten cold off screen. Oh yeah, I should have checked Israel. I mean, I'm gonna have to go back to the first room anyway to get more bugs. Thank you. Uh, I should probably use chews. I have plenty of chews to waste. Wait, where's the skull? Normally, right here. Yeah, I need to catch more bugs anyway. Okay, just heart container. It'll probably be easier if I do it from inside the tunnel. Mark shoes. Here you go. And mark nuts. Can't hit the tree. There we go. I'm not sure how much I should just waste shoes and or if I should bother doing broken stick or something. Here's boat. There we go. Okay, thank you. Something to work with. Okay. That opens up everything, because now I can do uh, index warp. 
More red potion. Nice. All right. Okay. Doesn't do anything. Okay. Now, now it's a baby seed. With one one item, suddenly turns it into a baby seed. Clearly. Actually need that. Wait, where's the skull? Oh, this one. Can ignore that. Why don't I do the Deku Stick trick? What do you mean? Do you mean broken Deku Stick? I do broken Deku Stick a lot. But if you mean like in that, that specific situation, I just didn't think it was worth it. Oh uh, wait, no, don't do that. Okay. Uh, this is gonna be weird. I can't get the Skulltula right below me, but I can check it. It's nothing. Rupee. for nothing. Can I hit this like this? Just want to save arrows and all this out. Okay, so I think I was actually able to check every skull in here. How's the rando going? It's rough. Definitely a rough seed. But it's going somewhere now. Uh, 
Uh, I want some hearts. Okay, I'm not sure if I can do this. I want to... Oh, I didn't mark bow. Mark bow. I want to jump over there. Hopefully a bomb jump makes it. Okay, good. Uh, Bo opens up Index Warp, because now, um, I wasn't able to do Index Warp because I needed either a first person item or a shield. And now that I have both of those... Uh, am I gonna be able to make it back through here? I don't think so. How do I get out of here? Uh... I might need a song of time. Yeah, I have to hope that a long jump will make it. I should have done it closer to the edge. All I need to do is make it to the, the water that doesn't hurt me. Come on. Almost there. Dude, I was like two, two hits away. Uh, I'm sorry, timing. It's just gonna be easier. <laughs> or should I? Yeah, maybe I can just grab the fairy. I mean, I don't have anything important this cycle, do I? Yeah, I don't have anything important this cycle. Just song of time. Yeah, I could I could get a fairy to spawn, but I mean, it's just gonna be easier this way. I'm low on explosives. I have nothing significant for this cycle. I guess I did do one day of honey and darling. That's it. Okay, now that I have bow, uh, I need to go farm some bombs and then go set up index warp and then I can finally start doing stuff. Oh, uh, I can also, let me withdraw some rupees so I can go do swamp archery also. Or no, there's rupees right next to swamp archery. I always forget. I do not have stick and nut drops enabled. I thought about it, but I decided against it. And this seed is making me rethink that. Yeah, I just felt like I'd rather have vanilla mechanics for that. But, I don't know. Maybe I should. Broken Sacred Grottoes? Well, even, even with Broken Sacred Grottoes, then that means I only get one stick instead of two, which is why I prefer just throwing grass at them. Or they don't, they don't respawn, right? Unless they respawn. Wait, they do respawn? Okay, I guess I will try that then. Might as well farm this guy then too. Okay, they do. 
I guess I've just never stayed in a grotto long enough. In OOT, a jump slash can break the grass. I guess this is probably better. There we go. One bomb drop. Just want at least two bombs. Okay, here we go. Alright, now I can go set up a uh, hidden owl. Oh, and I can get tingle. Let me go do tingle real quick. And I guess set up bombers. Yeah, I'm gonna do swamp archery soonish. Uh, sun tower small key is good. The kids are fine, they can take it. They're big kids. Dude. Just a light tackle, yeah. <laughs> okay, I should probably just set up a uh, hidden owl right now. And then when I have it set up, I will get the last kid. Didn't even get a jump. Couldn't talk to the banker. I had the right frame. 
just couldn't talk. Might be easier if I do it like over here. There we go. Should be it. There we go. Hidden Owl, finally active. Okay, for those who don't know what that owl is, uh, if that- I wasn't paying attention to the number. Uh, it, do, it doesn't matter because I already went in the- in the base. Um... Where do I want to go, actually? Uh, probably here. Uh, for those who don't know what the Hidden Owl is, uh, if that owl, uh, that looks like it's in South Clock Town, but... Hello? Does it not count as, like, leaving the area if I didn't... I guess I have to, like, properly leave the area and... Finishing the bombers doesn't count as making it work. Either way... So if this owl is the only owl I hit that looks like it's in South Clock Town, but it's actually in West Clock Town, uh, I can warp anywhere based on the position of the map cursor on my on my map. Dude. And so uh, it's a good way to be able to warp anywhere early on. It just takes some setup time though. I can't target the banker. But yeah, this trick is action swap where it causes a glitchy backwards Deku stick. Okay, here we go. Okay, now it for sure should work. And then I just put my, so for example there, I just put my cursor over uh, Goron Village and the Goron Village position on the map corresponds to Stone Tower, so I can just warp right up to Stone Tower. Okay, so now, now I have a lot more open up. I need to check all the tingles. Um, is it worth doing this right now? It'd be kind of awkward. I should at least check how expensive it is. I guess I have bow. 90 rupees, I can't even do it. Check the hint up here. How do you find tricks like that? Well, the, the hidden owl thing was something that was known a long time before the warping part of it was found. And I forget if it was just found on accident or just like 
a weird coincidence someone noticed, but you play around with glitches enough, you learn more about the game than you figure out how to exploit stuff you learn, learn about. Uh, I need a bomb drop. Yeah, at least I don't need an extra wallet for it, but it's just not worth going back for right now. Things are reset, Ziffy. The time lost notebook, yeah. I wonder if it'd be better if I just set Bomber's notebook to just not exist. Oh, Poet's Blue Potion, so. Hmm. So I don't need to do that, but I might need Blue Potion at some point. So. That's good to know. At least I don't have to run back there. That is a snowhead key. Woodfall Stray Fairy. Actually, he said for one rupee, right? Sure. There is a chance that could be important. Because again, uh, so Woodfall Stray Fairy gets me one Stone Tower Stray Fairy, and all Stone Tower Stray Fairies get me Couples Mask. So, on the very rare chance that Couples Mask is something good, uh, I might need 30 Stray Fairies for that. And then I might also need another 15 Stray Fairies for Pendant of Memories, which will get me Snowhead Boss Key. Right there. That exact ten. Nice damage boost. Yeah, so there's there's a world where I need forty-five stray fairies. What is that? Stone Tower Stray Fairy. I am so bad at checking these graves. This part. Stone Tower Small Key. Uh, it's gonna be annoying with these guys here. Leave me alone. I'm just trying to break into the place you're guarding. There we go. Where's the chest? Falling was death out of bounds? Oh my god. If one of them fell out of bounds. That's so dumb. I did... I did load the back room here a little bit. I wonder if that might have done something.
Let me light the torches first. Yeah, nuts can stun them, but it also it doesn't stun them all in like one big uh, group. It only stuns like a select few of them, so sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. I only have two, but like, see, only a handful of them actually got stunned. Dude, I think explosives are probably the best. They have some kind of, like, limit on how many can die at once or something. Kill them twice. Okay, I know this is a stray fairy, uh, but probably should get it. Sucks. <laughs> I want to go play OOT where Deck Stick actually does something. Uh. Yeah, I literally can't kill him. Never mind. Explosives work, I don't have enough explosives to actually kill them. I mean, I could go farm explosives. I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna bother farming explosives for a straight fairy. If I really need it later on, I will know to come back. Borrow mask. Doesn't really matter. Things we said be wildebeest. Yeah, in if you're using glitches, Garo Mask does nothing. The only thing it really does is if you have Garo hints on, uh, then you could then they could give you hints. Uh, other than that, they only help you get to a kind of glitch this. Uh, I really need to do Broken Stick. How am I going to set up Broken Stick here?
Okay, where do I want to go now? Uh, I need to go to Great Bay, which actually means I need to reload the area because I have it messed up on my map now. Don't do anything. Oh, I can finally get bomb flex drops with six hearts. Nice. Uh, I don't have song of healing, right? No. Oh, drops, uh, flex drops. There, there is a specific mechanic where if you are uh, very low on certain thresholds of items, like below a certain number of hearts, below a certain number of bombs, arrows, etc., um, there can be an added 1 16th chance to the drop table of getting that item. Okay, Seahorse is a uh, bow, but I already I don't really need that. Um, so, for example, uh, you need to have like a certain amount of stuff before the flex drops can actually take effect, but. For example, now that I have six hearts, uh, I can uh, get a flex drop for bombs. So that means if I'm now, if I'm five bombs or if I have five bombs or less, I will be able to uh, get an extra one sixteenth chance for bombs from grass. It's basically just. The mechanic for if you are low on item, get extra item. Uh, I'd really like more explosives than that. Speaking of, okay, you know what? Uh, since I just caught the fish, I'm gonna go to the observatory. Not the observatory. Uh, the the lab. Drop in the fish and go farm explosives, and then go back for. Wait, can I even do? Can I even do uh, Ocean Spider House? I don't have Hookshot, I don't have Goron Mask, I can't hover. Do I have any way over the gate? Oh yeah, check Tingle. Yeah, I guess no way past the gate. That's cool. I guess I can check two skulls. Surely one of them will have hookshot and or... I've never seen him throw it over the edge like that. Weird. You know what, it'll, it'll probably be faster to farm this at Snowhead, even with an extra warp. I'm just gonna get Tingle right now, and then warp the Snowhead, and farm explosives there. You know what, yes. It'll save me farming time. Uh, you know what, okay, since I can only check the first two checks here anyway, I'll just go here right now. Yeah, I probably should go to Zor- Well, I mean, my plan was, I was gonna go farm stuff at Snowhead and then immediately come back, and then go to Zora Cape stuff. But I think with those bombs, it's enough to just justify skipping farming right now. I can't believe it's been nearly two hours, and I still have so little stuff. Bomb shoes, stray fairy. Oh my god, really? Uh, I can at least check what this is.
Yeah, nothing I can do there. Uh, am I actually able to get this right now? I guess not. Or maybe with a Mega Flip. But I mean, even with a Mega Flip, I don't think it'd be worth it to get it right now. In fact, I'm, yeah, like I'm guaranteed to have to come back here later. Oh, I can let it crawl to the top, okay. But yeah, either way, like, there's no way that I don't go back there. So, no reason I'm wasting my time for it right now. Take a playground three days. Okay. Do I already? I think I might have already wrote that down. Yeah, I did. Okay, I think I can at least check the like like. Is that Romani mess? I would love to be able to see. That's Romani, right? Yeah, it's definitely Romani. I saw two white pixels and a black one. That's gotta be Romani mask. Dude. In before Milk Bar has the Roy Mask. <laughs> That'd be fantastic. There is, I think there's a zeroth day method of getting that without Zoro Mask, so... Worst case scenario, it's possible. Captain's hat, doesn't really matter. Yeah, the side swim is just to avoid the skullfish. They can't get me. Fifty rupees. Okay, I tried to learn to memorize this. No. I'm trying to look at it. I'm trying to do this without my notes this time. There we go. Woo! <laughs> 
working on it. Set that up right. Hate this trick. Oh, come on. Pull the fire alarm. Do you think the Zoras would care about a fire alarm? Hate this trick. Uh, bunny head shouldn't affect the jump. I mean, it doesn't look like my uh, like a, like I'm getting a bad jump. I don't think that's it. Like this trick is just kind of dumb in general. That looked like it should have worked. There we go. Uh, that's a regular fairy, like, right? It's not. Yeah, there's no, there's no such thing as a bottled fairy as an item. So nothing here. Uh, okay, I should probably go do Swamp Archery. And then I gotta do, uh, Town Archery also. Uh, do I care about... Yeah, it's fine to just make it next day. Yeah, two hours, no sword, no transformation mask. I at least know that uh, Baby Zora's is a sword. So if I can just get access to one Zora egg, I can get a sword. Was that 80 rupees?
Oh, yeah, I think I'm thinking the wrong one. No. Or actually, I know the Keaton mask is a great fairy sword, so I, if I get any way that I can clip into Cafe's house, that should get me a great fairy sword. Um, okay, I should probably just go to Clock Town, go to Town Archery. Bomb hover up to the wall. How will I bomb hover? Mark milk? That wasn't a milk bottle. That was just a milk refill. Okay, bye. I did deposit, right? Seven rupees. <laughs> I guess I will go kill some Dodongos. Longest run of this so far... Uh, like, my first one was eight hours or something, but... Uh, I mean, so far they've been long because... Like, my time has been going down as I get better, so I haven't had a long one because of the seed. I've only had long ones because of being bad so far. Well, actually, the first one that was long was actually kind of partly because of the seed and partly because of being bad. I guess I might as well uh, get this red potion, just in case I could get Lens soon or something. No, Takuri is not randomized. Uh, yes, you can bomb to Dongos in MM if you're specifically referring to the OOT glitch where if you bomb if you bomb to Dongos, it like glitches out the game and stuff. Uh, it does not glitch out the game in this. Bomb to just work on them properly. Did I ever check? Yeah, I checked Tingle here. I didn't check Swamp Road Tingle and Milk Road Tingle. I need to check those. Uh, no Giant's Mask anywhere anymore, because it it was fun, but it was also pretty broken. Yeah, and I want to get better at this, and... Using Giant's Mask as a crutch is probably not going to help getting better. No, no FD either. Although, with both of them, I can still use them uh, with with glitches. Like, I can still use glitches to use FD anywhere or something. 
Oh, actually, I'm not sure if using the same glitch for Giant's Mask Anywhere works. I'm not sure if, like, the mechanic changes from Giant's Mask Anywhere applies... Uh... If you don't have Giant's Mask Anywhere selected. I would assume it does. But I'm not 100% sure. Oh, if you don't have it selected, Giant's Mask will soft lock as normal. Okay, never mind then. Okay, so that was a bust. Uh, I need to do... I just had an idea for something to do and I don't remember what I was going to do now. Um... Right, right, Romani Ranch, or no, not that. Uh, I want to go to Milk Road. I need to check Milk Road and Swamp Road Tingles. I did the Bomb Wall and Bomber's Hideout, yeah. Chess game is only something with Goron. I already saved the Witch with Red Potion. Uh, so this is really only if I get Lens for a Kana Soldier. Actually, while I'm here, I think I should make it day three and do. Uh, still rupee 40. Dude! I should make it day three and go do, uh, the. the chest in here. The doggy race chest, and then I guess I could YOLO doggy race. I, I have one shot. Pastebin sponsorship win. Does getting free Pastebin Pro count as a Pastebin sponsorship? I don't have burn mask, right? No. I did not pay for a pastebin pro. I did get it for free. I mean, it wasn't part of some, like, deal or anything, I just magically had it one day. Because my, my pace spins were very popular. Alright, Goldog. I'm gonna have to just trust you this time. I guess do the 90. How much do I need for second place to win? It's 80, right? Yeah, 80 should win second place. All right, Gold Dog, Gold Dog got the star. He's totally going to win. Oh, look at him go. Look at him go. Steady, steady. Okay, he's pulling ahead. Okay, let's go, let's go. Don't slow down, keep up. Come on. He's doing it, he's doing it. Uh, okay, that's second, that's second.
And there was nothing. Okay, Swamp Road. Okay, uh, after this tingle check, I genuinely don't know what to do. I don't know if I can do anything else after this. I guess I could get... I could do Pohut and do Blue Potion and get one check in the well. Check Stone Tower. Can I get into Stone Tower? Uh... No, I still haven't saved Grandma, but I still don't have anything to actually save Grandma. Uh, oh, Clock Tower Shoot. That's actually good. Wait, huh? Didn't I get a hint that said that was at Twin Islands? I must have misread the hint. Yeah, I think... I can't think of doing Time Stop without a shield, but I could be wrong. Can you do Time Stop without a shield? Uh, no, doesn't... Using bow on Sakin, doesn't it blow him up? I'm pretty sure you cannot save him with bow. Postman's hat. That's something. <clears throat> and I can't get non-human. Just a map. Uh Okay, I guess I do Pohut now. Deed, uh the deed is mountain title deed. I can't trade it in. And uh, I use it for a toilet hand. That's all I can really do. Oh wait, this was 90 rupees, wasn't it? I need more rupees. Uh... Where's rupees? Uh... Where's the quickest rupees? There's no rupees near any of these places. Uh... No, I can't rebuy Tingle Silver. Um... Yeah, I guess just grass. Outside observatory, uh, the rupees there aren't there on day three, right? Oh, yeah, the swamp beehives that might, I mean, that's kind of far away, but that might work. Let me double check the tree here. I'm pretty sure the tree money is not here on day three, but I can just farm grass. Oh yeah, Swamp Archery money is probably... that was probably would have been the best place to get it. Okay, it is still here.
And that guy's really hurt. That's cool. <laughs> Hope he's alright. I can't set up broken stick. Huh? What did I just target up there? No. There we go. I'm just going to hit me. Trying to do it without getting hit, but I guess I should just take the hit. Should be giving a sub, Sneaky. Did I empty my bottle? I'm stupid, dude. <laughs> uh, if I play again, I can't even play again. Oh yeah, I guess I wouldn't need a Gibdo mask. Yeah, I'm stupid anyway. Uh... Yeah, I know I said I needed a uh, red potion in case of lens, but then I also told myself I should get blue potion from that so that I could do the well, but then I forgot I don't need- I don't have Gibdo mask anyway. Uh... What do I do? Uh, the only thing I can think of is I need to do day three South Clocktown chest, but the only way to do that I think is to get on it day one and then song a double time a lot. Um Honey and Darling. I could have done all three Honey and Darling days this cycle, but I didn't. Uh I Glitch in a milk bar. I think to glitch in a milk bar, I need a shield. Uh, I definitely can't get into Snowhead. I well, I think theoretically, if I do the Hess, I could theoretically get into Snowhead, but I can't. Uh, Stone Tower. If you can do Time Stop without a shield, it might work. But I don't remember if you can. Oh yeah, zero day for Romani mask. I mean, I'm not gonna do that right now, but um, 
Oh, yeah, I never got the snow hide grotto. I, I need to do that. I did toilet hand. I did Keaton. Yeah, I did both archeries. I did check Gorman Bros. Gorman Bros was, uh, I had it written down. It was something okay. Uh, it was an ocean skull, Oceanside skull. Okay, I'm gonna song of time. I'm gonna get the South Clock Town third day chest by getting on it day one and then song of double timing all the way to day three. I did check Seahorse Reward, it's a bow, but I already have bow. Yeah, and then minigame, uh, I'm gonna have to do Honey and Darling on a different cycle because I'm, I'm, I need to just stay on the tower all three days. I probably should have deposited rupees. Yeah, I did get the Clocktown Fairy. Oh, you know what? I forgot. The, the actual fairy itself, the one in Laundry Pool, is actually five bomb shoes. I probably could have just gotten that. Yeah, I got Lost Woods Grotto. No way I can get glitch into ranch uh, before day three right now without a shield. No dungeons done yet. I'm nowhere even close to beginning a dungeon. I am so far away from being able to do a dungeon. Oh yeah, I, I tried to check Biobaba earlier and I couldn't, but now I can check it. I still won't be able to get it, but I should go back and check Biobaba. What? Doesn't this work? I swear this works. Do you have to like not stand in the middle of it or something? Fun song? I'm like 90% sure this works. <laughs> really? I could have sworn this was a thing. Okay, so now my next option is Honey and Darling all three days. Thanks for membership, Arch Arctic. Yeah, I did Woods a Mystery Grotto.
Dude, I want Cafe's Great Fairy Sword so bad. All I need to do is just clip into the house. Dude, how is it so hard? I did what I could in the graveyard, and what's left I know is junk. I have not done bank checks. I know that the first bank reward is at least junk. Uh, I might need to just start farming rupees for the bank. It was only one bomb chew. Cool. Just go to Snowhead. Uh, I checked Day 3 Curiosity Shop uh, without saving Grandma. Uh, I have not checked it with saving Grandma because I cannot save Grandma. Yeah, honey, I'm gonna do Honey and Darling. I just wanna farm the explosives first and money. Wait, did I? I didn't get sticks, did I? I should have gotten sticks. But just because. Wait, uh. Is the. Is the day three curiosity shop thing still all night mask if you just kill second? You can? Okay, I guess I should do that then. Oh wait, no? Wait, yes? I, I don't... I'm getting mixed answers. I mean, I guess I should just test myself. If I test it myself, I will learn it better. Oh my god, please. Yeah, as long as All Night Mask is still in the shop. That's that's what I care about. It's still getting All Night Mask in Curiosity Shop. If I if the All Night Mask check is still um uh, I'm actually going to go here. I just need to grab sticks real quick. No, I can't do the SCT beam check. That's uh, only if I can invert, and I currently cannot invert. I'm fairly sure I checked all shops. I checked Goron shop, Zora shop, Trading Post, Bomb shop. Why am I getting the chest? Uh... What other shops? I checked Curiosity Shop, uh, Bomb Bag Check. Um, I checked Gorman. I haven't checked... Uh, Milk Bar. Can't really do that right now. Yeah, I checked Potion Shop. Uh, that's not where I want to go. I did check Potion Shop. Uh, it actually did have one good thing. I forgot what it was, but I need rupees. <laughs> Can check Smithy. Uh, can I check Smithy? He's... Oh yeah, because the, the price is randomized. So yeah, I can actually check Smithy. I might want to kill the Dodongos again. I think this will be good enough. I need... Uh...
Okay, I can just do day one right now. Yeah, I think sword isn't required for Smithy in Rando. Uh, which one's the other climbable one? That one. Is this one climbable also? No. Don't. No way this makes it. <coughs> Whatever, I'm not gonna try again. Skulky doesn't have checks in my settings. Because I start with Song of Time and, uh, what's it called? Song of Time and Ocarina. Yeah, the observatory scrub uh, is still, uh, his price is random, so I was able to check that, and he, I forgot what he sold, but I did check it. Pretty sure I checked all the tingles. And even if I didn't, they have a lot of overlap. So I've, at least the ones I've checked probably have all the overlap covered. Okay, now I'm gonna go try to save Grandma. Or not save Grandma, but, well, kill Sakin, I guess. That's That counts as saving Grandma. Okay, now check Smithy. Wait, I can't even. There's, I have no way to melt the ice though. I can't do. I can't do uh, action swap, right? There's no. There's no way I can do like the roll method of action swap here, right? Mega flip into the grotto. Uh, is that gonna work? Or wait, I can probably. Maybe I can set up 
an action swap here and melt the ice like uh, how would I want to do this can I get let me invert set it up on the Gorn Elder uh, yeah yeah that probably works wait can I when he's not when he's still frozen Uh, where is he? On day one, he is over here, right? There. Okay, yeah. Uh, but then how do I jump over there? I guess from the bridge might work. Yeah, I did Keaton. Yeah, I'm really struggling. This is not an easy seed. Uh, I'll probably need a bomb jump. Oh, no, you can roll with this. I, I keep mixing up uh, action swap and um, remote hookshot where you are limited in your actions you can do without screwing up the glitch for uh, for remote hookshot you can't roll. And I keep thinking for some reason I can't roll during um, action swap. Uh, Len I already did Lens Cave. Prediction over yet? Uh, which is- which prediction is it? It might not be, because I've not found anything in a while. No? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this seed is very rough. This is going to work, right? Close enough. Dude, do I have to be like on on here? I didn't check what hungry. Okay, he just has a skulltula. Yeah, classic hot spring water. Yeah, I guess I just have to be on the plat on the platform itself. The good thing I actually melted the ice and didn't just flip through it. How many checks do I have? I mean, I can't... I have no idea what the number of checks are left. Do you mean, like, how many things can I think of off the top of my head that I can still get with my current equipment? Not much. I mean, there might be some, like, obscure... Uh, complicated glitches I can do to get some more stuff, but... I'm definitely running out of stuff. A bully seed, yeah. I did check Goron Shop, yeah. 
How many shields are there? I think there's two heroes shields and mirror shield. 20 rupees. I can peek it, but I have to go to day two anyway, so no no reason to bother peeking. Because next I'm going back to Honey and Darling. It's nothing. I know Gold Dust is Oceanside Spider House. Uh, I mean, that's not anything I'll be getting anytime soon. Yeah, I did Swamp Skull House. Ocean Skull House, I can only check the first two or three skulls, and I can't get past the gate. I did the mailbox thing with Postman Hat. Yeah, I got the dog chest and I and I yolo the dog race and got the check there. Okay, uh do I go straight to day three? I don't think there's anything else I can do right now. Check Blacksmith reward in case it's gold dust. Can I? No, I can only peek the reward. Uh, well, no, I know it's not gold dust because I, I know that Oceanside Spider House One is gold dust. Um, but yeah, the uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can't peek the Smithy thing until. Oh, oh, if you mean like get the hint from Smithy about gold dust, yeah, I already, I already know where gold dust is, so. It wouldn't help. Oh yeah, bye, Baba. I ain't gotta do that. Fairy. Okay, you go check Bio Baba. You know, I might as well make it night right now. So I can check, um, Curiosity shop when I come back. I still haven't even checked Swordsman School. I did the sewers. If I can't get this, I can at least see what it is. 
fairy. Uh. It only sometimes falls on the thing if you break it with something else besides bow. I, I It might only be hookshot. But basically, bow makes it fall straight down. Hookshot makes it fall in a random direction. So I wouldn't be able to get it with bow. Yeah, I checked observatory. Uh, I don't know if I can actually check any of the woodfall chests. Uh, magic bean. <laughs> STT. Yeah, I guess I could do STT. I actually just remembered I could probably get to STT with like massive pause buffering. Uh. Okay, here. You know what? I will get spring water and go to STT. How much am I, am I even going to be able to do in Stone Tower? I don't think it's going to be that much. But I need something. I do find challenging seeds like this fun, but... I, I definitely like the challenge, but I also... hope it goes somewhere. I don't even think I can do Zeroth Day Romani as a last resort because um, I'm pretty sure for that I still need a shield to actually hover. Or wait, yeah, yeah. Wait, can I? I might be able to. Dude. Yeah, slow seeds aren't fun. Challenging is good, slow is not. Please make it. probably make it but just in case I'll try to land okay easy just pause buffer a hundred times to get into stone tower this is the kind of thing I need in this seed I could make that. Oh, but I do have two keys. So I can actually do some stuff.
Now stay tuned for a lot more of that in February. Oh man. That's uh that's a neat spoiler. A neat teaser. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the chest in a sec. Stone mask. Uh nice to have, I guess. Wallet. Uh, I don't know if that helps at all. I mean, it helps, but I don't know if it advances me. Uh, there's nothing I can do in the water, right? Yeah, if I go down the tunnel, no, if I... Yeah, the Dexy Hand can throw me up, so I should... Uh, am I able to do this? Am I able to go in the water here? Ocarina Dive? Uh, yeah. No, can I? Can you walk Ocarina, Ocarina Dive with stick? I feel like this is impossible. Stick Dive does work. Is it precise? Do I need like a setup for it or should I be able to do it just by like going at it? Okay, here we go. I guess just in case. Uh, there's no way I can get over to the, that side of the room, right? Yeah. Okay, I think I just soar out and then go back in. Yeah, shield would open up everything. If I get shield, like, the the whole world is opened up. What do I even do in this room? <laughs> I could QPA this, but I don't have mirror shield. Uh... I don't have light arrows. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I guess... I'm pretty sure hot spring water is not gonna hit these, because I think it needs to be like slightly above the ground for it to hit these, and these are... Like, the reason it works on the one in front the one I did over here is because it's slightly elevated, or like the ground I was standing on was slightly elevated. So, yeah, I won't work on those. So yeah, that's all I can do here. Um, I guess deposit, and next cycle I go for bank rupees. The one key left, I can only use on the other side, on the left side, but I can't even go past the left side without either hovering or LG. So I can't even get to the other door I could open. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go check all night now. Yeah, go check all night and then deposit. Surely all night mask will be hero's shield. Or, 
Well, th okay, this is if it even is All Night Mask, because I'm still not sure if uh, Exploding Sacken actually lets All Night Mask check spawn. Uh, Bean, was that what it was last time? I forgot. I think it was, yeah. So I guess that's just the bomb bag check. I already did everything relevant night three. Next bank reward is 500 and then a thousand. So I guess my only option right now is farm, farm to curry. Are you going out of Swamp Archery? Uh, Swamp Archery would be faster. Swamp Archery or Takuri? Find a Pona song and check cows. Oh yeah, yes. Just find a Pona song, forehead. Of course, that would solve all my problems. Why don't why doesn't streamer just find the good items? <laughs> Pay out wait, what one gamba? Oh, wallet. Okay. I'll pay out when I warp here. Oh, you know what? I never checked. Uh, I'm not able to get this check, but I'm able to at least see what it is. Wait, do I have sticks? Never mind. Uh, I'm going to Milk Road. short. I already did, Keaton.
Okay, I'm gonna try uh, Swamp Archery Rupees and just see how fast or slow that is. Uh, I already did Deku Palace except for the uh, Sonata check, which I can't do because I don't have Deku. So I already did everything I can do in Deku Palace. Yeah, I got the graveyard keys chest. Yeah, I did both shooting galleries. The Durangos are also a farming option. I'm just not doing them because I'm pretty sure they're slow. Because they're only going to give me 100 rupees. Madam Aroma? You mean the one in, uh... The one in the mayor's office? Yeah, I got that. That's that's always one I do, like, first thing. If you mean milk bar, can't. I got index warp by doing action swap with Deku Stick. And that let me, uh, do the long Deku Stick glitch to hit it from past the loading zone. Okay, I'm pretty sure Takuri is going to be faster than this. Just 500 more. No, you can't Ocarina dive. <laughs> Ocarina dive to Romani Mask. And even then, in order to Ocarina dive uh, while not being up against a wall, uh, I would need a shield. And the heartbeat is all, all the way in the middle. slightly too early. No, I'm trying to... I just want to not waste my arrow. Okay, I just need one more to curry after this and then like 12 more rupees or something. What if bank is junk? Then I'm lost. Yeah, I checked field scrub grotto. 
The Haggler. What can I do after this? I don't know. Dungeons loaded, probably. If only I could get to a dungeon. If I can get Deku, Deku would open up so much, actually. I checked the grotto, um... I checked the grotto up before Snowhead itself. I did not check the grotto in Twin Island. Uh, above the slope, but I actually just thought I can probably use the fish push for that. So I guess I can get the Twin Island Grotto. I have not do not done Swordsman School because I do not have a sword. Bank three is junk. I forgot, how much was the silver rupee? Dude. 500, right. Not exactly worth. I already entered Stone Tower. I could only get a few checks in there though. I got what, like four checks? Did I get last day check? What last day check? Gonna have to be much more specific than that. Uh, I should probably kill this guy. Okay, I've only seen a video of this. I hope that I can do this the right way. I don't quite get this, but... No, oh, come on. Uh... Uh-oh. I, I pushed it the wrong way. Walk slightly angled towards the wall, okay. No, you can't, uh, you can't just Hess up the slopes. The slopes still cancel your Hess. And I, you can actually Hess without a shield in MM, but, uh, the slope is still gonna prevent you from actually going up it.
If I could super slide, a super slide would actually get up the slope, but that I do need a shield for. Wait, you can? I could have sworn that you can't hess up this. I swear I tried this. I could have sworn that didn't work. I'm gonna be mad if this is important because I could have done that a long time ago. Okay. What do I do? I genuinely cannot think of any other checks to do. It might be spoiler the log time. Uh, no, I can't do day zero Romani mask unless, uh, no, I, I can't do day zero Deku. I did actually learn day zero Deku, but I can't do that without hovering. I can't do Monkey Sonata check. I've done everything else in Deku Palace. Stage lights as possible. Dude, stage lights with... Uh, with action swap sounds so bad, but I guess I'll try it. I did Kita. Okay, I, I for sure turn stage lights back on now. I, I definitely have stage lights on. No, I don't have a Skull Kid check. Uh, okay, I assume this is probably better to do from the bottom than from up here. Uh, where's a good place to get Action Swap? Do it from the stage, okay. Uh, I just need to find a place I can actually set up action swap. Is anywhere near a ledge I can jump to? I assume this Zora. Under the top platform? Wait. Uh. Where's the Zora walking? Oh, that one? Oh, uh, I mean, I'll just do this. This will probably be quicker. Actually, I might not be in range of talking. I'm gonna jump to the other side. I 
think one more frame. Okay, maybe I should use the Welcome Zora. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I forgot to pull that bow before I jumped. Must be right below me, right? I just want the camera to look down. Okay, there. I have no way to judge my distance from the ground. Okay, I think this is it. Frame early. Let me see if I can... Do this. Okay, no. Okay, maybe I can do it over here. I'm just gonna have to guess the frame. I think one more. I'm trying to do action swap where I try to take out Deku Stick uh, right before I roll and then one frame uh, later talk to the Zora and then this will give me a glitch Deku Stick uh, that I can use to shoot. Dude that would have been it if I talked. Uh, I'll be able to shoot a lit arrow. At, uh, that effectively acts as fire arrows, and that can get me one more check. So now I have to get up here, and so the arrow shoots, the arrow does not quite shoot the direction that I want it to shoot. I'm going to have to, shoot it like this, okay a little bit closer.
Okay, I heard it hit the torch. Okay, it hit. No, dude, I lost, I lost, uh, Equip Swap. I think I can't climb. I think climbing gets rid of it. Yeah, the ledge grab. Yeah, and they're on the timer, too. Okay, I think I know the positions, though. The good timing. That was late. No, it wasn't. It would have worked, but... Uh, bad position. Uh, the glitch is called Action Swap. Get my arrows. I... I'll be fine. I can do it with 19. Might be too far away. Okay. Got it. Did I... <laughs> I wasn't quick enough? I should really buffer it. I shouldn't buffer it. I think I'm actually gonna be worse at, it, at buffering it. It's gonna... it's... Awkward to buffer. No, I did hit it. Uh, what I mean is that um, the other one went out. Okay, you know what? Actually, this time I probably should get my arrows. Impossible seed. This is definitely looking like impossible if this isn't a good item. This definitely might be the impossible one. Thank <laughs> you. 
Are you serious? They have that short of a timer? Yeah, I, I basically can't fail this. I have to get one and instantly get the other. There we go. Alright, and this is Deku Mad. I am so mad. Literally nothing. Not even junk. Literally nothing. Incredible. I'm on a borderline impossible seed. I am getting no items. I am doing the bottom of the barrel checks. I am doing stupid tricks to get items early. I spend 15 minutes trying to get one check and I get literally nothing. What else have I not done? Uh, which is mushroom item was junk. Um, entrance to Ocean Spider House. I already checked the first three Skulltulas in Spider House, and that's all I could do. HP outside of PF Glyphs. I guess I could check that, but even if it's good, I'm not going to be able to get it. So I might as well, I guess I'll do that. Zero Day and Snowhead. Uh, I guess I could try learning Zero Day Snowhead. Okay, what would I actually do with Zero Day though? Like, the Romani Mask thing... Would I actually be able to do that without hovering? Well, no, I, I can't do Deku Day Zero, because that I for sure need hovering for, to get back to the intro. Yeah, Graveyard's junk. You can't Navi dive in MM, but Ocarina diving is very easy in MM, and that usually gets you most of the dives you want to do. I have bunny hood. Can only Zora peek this? Or I guess I can weird shot to peek it. Powder keg, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure if powder keg would really do much. Uh, I the only way I'd be able to use it is with unrestricted items. And could you even do that near Romani Ranch? I'm like. I might be able to, you know, get Romani's game or something out of that. Otherwise, I don't know. Um... 
Okay, I think it might be time to check spoiler log. I'm gonna try to think of any other last potential checks. Uh, Zora Hall, I got everything, I got the shop. Great Bay, I checked as much as I could of the spider house. I did the post box. Um, I checked all the tingles. I don't have uh, Garo hints on. Woodfall chess. Uh, so I didn't, I haven't checked Woodfall chess, but I just am not sure if I can actually check any of them. No, I'll, I'll just look at the spoiler log myself. At this point, I'm, I, I'm pretty fine with checking spoiler log. Like this cannot make it to the chest, right? I'm ninety percent sure. And then, you know what, maybe I have enough health to wade through the poison water enough to get that one chest. Here, I'll go get a fairy. Uh, I guess just get the fairy here. Uh, that's not Woodfall. There are no soft soil checks, except for Swamp's Skull to the House ones. I have not checked the Song of Soaring check, because I thought I wasn't able to do that one, but I might be able to do it with this. If I... If I have enough health to get through the poison water, I might be able to get to the Song of Soaring check. Oh no, I saw my fish. Dude. Of course. Does the fish just take priority over fairy or something? I should have dumped it in the water. There we go. Okay. Should I... Should I try to get over there first and then... I probably should, yeah. Gonna have a little bit less health than Max. Surely that won't matter. Oh, I'm actually not even going to need the fairy for this. I forgot, you can move faster through this poison water than southern swamp poison water for some reason. Green potion. Okay, I don't think there's any way I get to that chest now, right? 
I don't think there's anything I can do for that. Yeah, so now I can do Song of Soaring uh, thing. Yeah, I checked uh, the grotto by Swamp Spider. Uh, can Long Jump even make this? I don't know if I don't think Long Jump can make this. No, there's no way. Uh, I think it's over. Zero day lets me go to ranch day one. True. Okay, wait, can I do wait, can I do Snowhead Zero Day with stick? Is there a link to video? Hold on. Uh, link the video again. I don't see it. Yeah, we're really grasping at straws at this point. Oh okay, yeah, but d does this work with stick? Yeah, the video uses sword. I mean, let me, I guess I'll just go farm sticks real quick. This also means I have to hit the owl. I did check the grotto near Snowhead. I have not checked spoiler log. I am very close. Oh wait, if I do this, I have to do this on day one anyway if I want it to help me get to Romani Ranch. I should just song of time. Or the log check is likely incoming soon. Ha! <laughs> 
Okay, one more. Shield would unlock a ton because then I can just hover everywhere. It's hard to say like exactly how much, but it, it would be a lot. Yes, I checked being guy. Okay, so I'm gonna have to hit the owl. Which means I'm gonna lose index warp. Uh I should probably copy this copy the file if I get this. I mean the seed's basically over. Probably doesn't matter at this point. Sackin's hideout doesn't have an item. If you mean Andrew and Cafe, I know Andrew and Cafe have a boss key. But I can't get that without pending the memories. Okay, let me see how to set this up. This is going to be extra annoying to set up. I feel like I need Broken Stick for this. If this even works, which it might not. Yeah, let me do this. That does cancel Hidden Owl, yes, but this is my only method of potentially doing Zeroth Day right now. This can get me to Romani Ranch day one. Probably take off Bunnyhood for this. Thank <laughs> you. 
dude. <laughs> Okay, this is gonna be my last try at this. Or like next next fall. My last try. And then it's spoiler log time. I put away my stick, dude. I'm over this. <laughs> okay. I'm checking log. This seed's over. Okay. Control F shield. Gorman Bros race. So whoever said just just get a Pona song actually had a point because Gorman has uh, a shield. So if only I could just get a Pona song, that would be good. Uh, Mirror Shield is on Beaver Race Two. Not getting that anytime soon. And Stone Tower Boss Key Chest has my last shield. Or no, there's one more. Uh, Secret Shrine Wiz Rope Chest. I don't think any of those are happening. Okay, where is Epona's song? Because Epona gets me a shield. Oh yeah, I got a hint. Fisherman Game. So, <laughs> Fisherman Game was... So, Fisherman Game needs beating Great Bay Temple. So, I need both Zora, Zora Mask and Nui Bossa Nova. In order to get a Pona song. Okay, uh, Hookshot. Where's Hookshot? Uh, Great Bay Temple, Great Bay Large, uh, Great Bay Ledge Jar. So that's one of the, the stray fairy in the pot in that one kind of narrow room in, uh, Great Bay Temple. So how about Zora Mask? Cannot find Zora Mask. Uh, Woodfall Compass Chest in Woodfall Temple. How about Deku Mask? Stone Tower Updraft Frozen Eye. So that's <laughs> kind of close. Well, no, that's an inverted stone tower, but... Uh, <laughs> this is rough, man. Goron Mask. Also in Stone Tower. Stone Tower Lava Room Ledge. Uh, so that's actually... Dude, that's actually so close. If I was able to progress one more room in Stone Tower, I actually would have been able to get that. In fact, Light Arrows would let me get that. So where is Light Arrow? Pirate's Fortress Cage in Pirate Fortress Sewer. Is there any potential way I could get to Pirate's Fortress Sewer? I don't think so, but like maybe with like zeroth day, like some kind of crazy... No, there's no way. So Light Arrows isn't happening. Uh... Oh yeah, let me check. Zora Mask was in Grey Bay Temple, right? No, it was in Woodfall. Okay, uh, let me check the dungeon entrances real quick. Okay, so Woodfall was Snowhead. Snowhead was Great Bay. Great Bay was Woodfall. Oh. Okay, yeah. Then then that means um, that Zora Mask, which is in Woodfall, would have been needed to get into Woodfall. 
Unless, uh, no, never mind. Or wait. Or no, beating. If I got Deku Mask, Deku Mask was. Okay, Deku Mask is in Stone Tower. If I could somehow get Deku Mask, then I could Zeroth Day warp into Woodfall. But Deku Mask is again Stone Tower, Updraft, Frozen Eye Room. So that would have needed Action Swap or Fire Arrows. But then it's also inverted. You could. It, that would either require getting the inverted stone tower. Could I do... Would pause buffering inverting stone tower be doable? No, that needs... That needs a... Uh, what's it called? A uh, remote hookshot, right? Even with a bunch of pause buffering. Yeah, if I could hover, I definitely could get Deku Mask. I could definitely get the upside down chest. But yeah, I don't think there's any potential way that I could have inverted Stone Tower the seed. Yeah, all the shields. Let me go through the shields again. Uh, so one was Gorman Bros. So one is Secret Shrine Wizrobe. Uh. Secret Shrine, Rizrobe, uh, Gorman Bros Race, Beaver Race 2, and Stone Tower Boss Key Chest. So I don't think I'm getting any of those. Uh, is there any other... Is there any other thing I should check in the log here? I'll Let me give you guys the log now. Okay, here's the log if you guys want to look for yourself. Uh, but yeah, is there anything else that you guys think I should check? Anything else? What was in Romani Ranch? Yeah, I guess I should just check what, what Romani Ranch stuff was in case I got it. Uh... Alien Defense, Junk, Creamia was letter to Mama. Um, Romani's Game was Song of Storms. That's not really going to do anything. Ranch Cow 2 is a wallet. Letter to Mama on Creamia possible into FD. Okay, so, so I'd have to zeroth day, get to Ranch early. F? Small F, hello. Okay, wait, so... So there's a possibility that I would do... Zeroth day to get to Romani Ranch on day one. Then do Aliens and do... Uh... Creamia. And then that gets me Letter to Mama. Then that gets me FD. I'd have to do an FD Anywhere glitch, but, or wait, what would, if I did FD, what would that get me? Because I don't think, I don't think it's getting me, could I like use FD in Stone Tower to like climb the sun blocks? Shrug. Yeah. I'm like trying to think if like maybe FD could do something in Stone Tower, but I don't think so. Like uh, of the important items that I just searched for, I don't think FD would have been helpful in getting any of them. Yeah, FD would get the soaring check. What is the soaring check? Um... 
Where is it? Can't find it. No, I'm pretty sure I, I set the the check itself to be randomized though. Wait, do I not have it randomized? Could have sworn I did. Laundry pool, clock town, stray ferry, bomb chew, curiosity shop, man one. Wait. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, Costa, yeah. I, we knew all that except for Curiosity Shop 2 being room key. Um, what would room key have led to? Uh, where's Stockpot in? Oh, there. Oh, guest room. Uh, red rupee. Okay, it wouldn't have been anything. Bomb bag purchase was all the way upgrade, and lighter chest was all the way upgrade. Okay, so, I mean, that actually isn't bad for lullaby if I would have gotten Goron Mask, but Goron Mask was a problem again. What was Goron again? Oh yeah, Stone Tower. Dude, Stone Tower's loaded. Empty Bottle, Goron Lullaby, Hero's Shield, Stone Mask, Bomb Bag Upgrade, Goron Mask, Cafe Mask, Wallet Upgrade, Sword Upgrade, Deku Mask. Mirror Shield was Beaver Race, Beaver 2. Oh yeah, uh, FD would get me Great Fairy Sword. Uh, if FD got me Great Fairy Sword... Moon's Tear was on the moon, how appropriate. Uh, I remember if... Okay, if I got Great Fairy Sword, that would have gotten me all Night Mask check. Uh, where is all Night Mask? Uh, Magic Bean. Wait. No, All Night Mask purchase was Magic Bean. And the big, big bomb bag purchase is Stone Tower Small Key. So yeah, killing so killing Sakin did uh, make uh, All Night Mask spawn in the in the shop. Yeah. Okay, so killing Sakin is good if I just want to get the All Night Mask check. No, I can't get into Stone Tower. I can't hover. That's the problem. I don't have any shield to hover for Stone Tower. So even though I know Stone Tower has a lot of stuff, I can't do it. I already went into Stone Tower and I did as much as I could, but even that was only like four checks. And it was like one room away from Deku Mask too. Literally one room away from Deku Mask, but I, I can't get past the one room. Okay, well, anyway, uh, I guess I am done for now. Uh, clip into Secret Shrine? No, you definitely cannot get into Secret Shrine without either hovering or light arrows. You can pour spring water on the sun uh, to enter without light arrows, but it is a giant hover.
But yeah, uh, no, I am not doing Uno Moss. I'm not doing another rando after four hours of trying the stupidest stuff to try to make the seed work. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys later. Bye bye. Oh, by the way, uh, OOT is on GDQ tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's going to be an OOT MST run for GDQ. Uh, I guess I might as well raid GDQ. Um, I might not stream tomorrow for that. Just go raid GDQ, I guess. But yeah, make sure to watch the OOT run. No poverty chat. I can't do poverty chat anymore. There's no more hosting on Twitch. Yeah, tomorrow in like I think it's like in twenty two hours from now. But anyway, uh, offline. Twi as in, does it say Games Done Quick is offline or I'm offline? Oh, offline as in you're trying to post the, the emote, but the emote isn't showing up. Right. I forgot. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, I'm done for now. Thanks for watching. Go away, GDQ. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.